at to connect ebay to pioneer 2023 hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day i bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about ebay and how you can connect this wonderful store to your pioneer in the easiest most simplest way possible so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to you know fully learn all the depths and details about this video till the end now to start things off what we are going to be doing is uh we are going to want to make sure that we have a proper ebay selling account and we have a proper fully set up pioneer account okay a pioneer account uh if you're like creating it right the seconds it might take a few you know uh minutes uh, it might take a day it might take two because uh, pioneer accounts um, usually go through a lot of verification and once they're done with that verification yeah from there on out it should be you know a, a piece of cake to work with so yeah we are gonna make sure that uh, we go ahead with that and once we go ahead with that from there on out what's gonna happen is that we are gonna be working with our eBay store which is gonna be a seller store okay again I'm gonna say it again it needs to be a seller store if it's not a seller store then obviously things are not going to work so obviously once you're over here on you know the basic ebay.com page uh let's go ahead and uh, start with the whole you know basic ebay seller central setting up so obviously first of all we're going to sign up for a basic ebay account obviously to get to their seller central and uh, to get there to their seller central it uh, can be quite tricky so uh please do make sure to fully watch all the bits of tutorial that i am going to be showing you okay so obviously right now as you can see in my ebay i'm already signed in so if i like add a password it's going to sign me in and everything okay pretty great stuff but for this instance i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to log out of this okay i'm going to go on my ebay going to click on switch account and we're going to click on create an account and while we're on create an account let's also go ahead to our you know basic um managed payments in our banner and uh, let's discuss the different things we need to do over there as well okay so i'm going to come here on pioneer oh i'm going to write pioneer over here once you write pioneer obviously you're going to load things in and uh, once you are uh, into loading things in obviously it's going to bring you to these places over here as so okay now obviously once you're into your pioneer um from here obviously there are a few things that you are going to be needing to have with your basic pioneer page okay now a few of these things are obviously there should be no verification process on hold okay everything should be properly verified uh, your account shouldn't be on hold for any kind of thing. Everything should be, you know, working normally and as it should be. And uh, obviously, once you've uh, fixed all of those things for yourself, from there on out, what you are going to want to do is, as I told you, you're going to go ahead on creating an eBay account. Now, once you are into creating an eBay seller's account, uh, obviously, first of all, we're going to want to make sure that it is a business account. Okay. So a business account can be for your listing. It can be for any other purpose if you want to, or you can just come here and write seller managed payments on your basic eBay. Okay. It takes you to the AB uh, pay boarding. And uh, obviously we're going to want to have to sign in with our other original account. Now, as I told you, I already have an account, but you can obviously go ahead and make your own account if you're uh not into you know making it from scratch now once we sign in as we can see it brings us to our seller managed payments now here it basically gives us a few things so first of all there's the business type you're going to want to enter your business type okay then you're going to go over to seller account okay now in seller account it's going to ask you all these few things uh with like you know you're just going to ask your country it's going to ask your uh you know social security number 
and all that. And once you add all that in, you're going to go ahead to bank account. Now, in your bank account is what you're going to do. You're going to connect a Payoneer account. Okay. Before we can connect your account, we need to first verify your phone number. Okay. They're going to verify your phone number. They're going to deposit funds for your sold items to your Payoneer account. You have the options to link an existing Payoneer account or create a new one and link it. Seller payouts are charged in, you know, uh, US dollars as well. Now you can sync it to eBay and Payoneer profiles as well. You know, after you register or link your existing Payoneer account, they'll put in your details from your Payoneer to sync your eBay profile, where you can add your financial info like credit or debit card to cover any balance due for selling costs. And you can also have a tax identification number to um, comply with your applicable laws, okay? And then you're obviously going to be submitting your registration info and everything. And once you submit all of that, obviously it's going to take some time to verify you. So once you're done with all of that, yeah, it should be good to go from there. Okay. Now, obviously to connect a Payoneer account, you're going to want to uh, obviously go on the Payoneer web boarding where it gives you all the essentials. So uh, obviously we're going to come here. I'm going to write eBay. Payoneer. Okay, let's add that. Now, once you add that, obviously, as you can see, it uh, loads in. So the eBay export people will give us a proper guide on, you know, setting eBay up with our Payoneer. So, uh, yeah, do make sure to, um, like, obviously, this is the same guide that I'm telling you to follow. But, uh, yeah, you could just go ahead and follow this one as well. Again, as I stated, we are going to need a uh, Seller Central account. If you don't have a Seller Central account, this will not work as you want it to work. And, uh, well, once you, like, ask it to connect and everything, uh, it's going to obviously, you know, go ahead and start verifying that your Payoneer account is actually a proper, you know, fully set it up Payoneer account with no bugs or glitches. And once it verifies that, obviously, you can give it some direct verifications as well. If you click on get paid, okay, and you go under request a payment, okay, just as an example, you can go on via marketplace platform or you can go back and get paid, go on receiving accounts, okay, you're going to click on request accounts. What this does is it will give local bank account details to do business in countries, okay. So obviously eBay is a business that you're doing from a country and you're going to need a local account for that. So you're going to make sure to get that to select the countries for which you'd like local bank account details. You can always request account details for additional countries later. So yeah, just go ahead and choose these. Click on next. And uh, obviously these are the guidelines that you're going to need to follow. And it should be a piece of cake to work on from there. So yeah, uh, basically... Again, if I were to give you a recap, go on eBay, make a Seller Central account for yourself. And uh, once that Seller Central account is made, set everything up with your uh, seller details, your uh, you know business details, your bank account details and all that. Once you do that, you're going to sync your profiles with your eBay in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Okay, and once your eBay and uh, Pioneer profiles are synced, from there on out, it should be a piece of cake because all the payments that you're going to be getting on your eBay Seller Central you're going to get all of those deposited in your Payoneer account, which is going to be absolutely incredible. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.